Walter D. Palmer is an elementary school in North Philadelphia that is filled with talented teachers and staff, but until this month it was an institution that didn't teach its students about global warming. Not because the teachers didn't care, not because the school administration was filled with global warming critics, but because the school simply didn't have the time or resources to do so. I think that uh, definitely there should be more funding and there should be more outside organizations coming in to talk about these things because it is going on, you know, within our world. And these guys are going to take us into the next generation. That's how Temple students Gaia Sturbes and Trisha Mendez got involved. In early 2007, the green-minded women formed Philly Eco Kids, a student organization that teaches low-income urban students about renewable energy, coral reefs, global warming, and other environmental issues. Um, we begin the class just by asking them if they're aware of what global warming is and if they have any ideas of, of what the concept might be. Um, and then we, in sort of like a question and answer forum, we try to um, explain to them what global warming is. Um, the process as well as how it causes climate change. On April 20th, the group visited Daniel Hayes' sixth grade class at Walter D. Palmer. Um, I think the kids need to learn a little bit more about it, mm -hmm. um, where the environment comes from and the energy and how electricity is made, but I think it needs to be more broadened in the schools. The Philly Eco Kids taught them about environmental topics with 15 minutes of PowerPoint, followed by hands-on activity. Um, I learned, I learned why it's important to clean up the environment and not let the air get polluted and lose less energy. A majority of the lesson consisted of the students writing and performing skits that address the consequences of global warming. At the end of the lesson, students can draw a picture or write a letter to President George W. Bush explaining why saving the environment is important to their lives and the world they live in. The children are rarely short of words for the president. This isn't just about um, the, the physical environment, it's about social justice um, and um, taking stock in that, I guess, and feeling that we can be agents of change within that environment, whatever grade level we're in, whatever part of the city we live in, and so on. And they actually can take us out of this crisis, this energy crisis that we have now, you know, these young minds. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, bringing these uh, issues up with them now, you know, they can start solving them. As Philly Eco Kids travel throughout the city from school to school to teach students about environmental issues, they also strive to incorporate all Americans in the fight to preserve our environment, especially the little ones. <laughs>